So I, I figured to follow uh, Ben's magic act, uh, the only way we can do it is by doing alchemy. So we have to make gold. So, and that's what we're gonna do. And I, I just made a, I guess a psychology discovery. Uh, burning your fingers really calms the nerves. <laughs> so, so it does work, so if you're ever wondering. But, so we're gonna make gold first and then we'll, we'll jump in. Um, so, how do you make gold? This is boiling water and it's, uh, it's very hot water. You see, it uh, will just boil that. So we add, and this is a secret, please. Don't tell anybody else how to make this because uh, we're making gold. So this is citric acid, uh, sodium citrate, which is lemon juice. You add some there. I'll turn the heat up a little bit. And somebody's gonna have to keep an eye on this. So. Look at the light, there's a laser beam here, and you barely see the light in there, right? So it's gonna take a little bit to, to finish cooking. So uh, if anybody sees the reaction take place, which may happen very fast, it's not. You see, there's no, nothing changes, right? There no, there's no gold there. You'll see when we make gold. So we'll go back to that after my presentation, and I need this. Okay, so <clears throat> I figured, uh, I, usually when I give presentations, um, I have data, equations, definitions on my back, which usually guide my talk. So I figured I would start with a physics defini definition to resonate, and, and why physics, since I'm a chemist, but I'm a physical chemist, and since I was an undergraduate, I always resonated better with physics than chemistry. So I figured, well, we start with the physics definition. So, reson uh, resonate, to produce or exhibit resonance. Resonance, the condition of a body or system when it's subjected to a periodic disturbance of the same frequency as the natural frequency of the body or system. At this frequency, the system displays an enhanced oscillation or vibration. That's a, a mouthful, uh, and uh, I'm sure you didn't, uh, you're not here for a, a lecture in a physics lecture on resonators, and I'm not qualified to give that either. So I found a better one, which resonates much better with me. Resonate, to produce or exhibit resonance. Resonance, a relationship of mutual understanding or trust in agreement between people. So my goal here, and I'm gonna show some science, is by the end of my presentation to have these two definitions to resonate. So, so what do I do, why am I here? I'm here because I levitate cells. It's true, uh, I levitate cells to make uh, tissue to culture cells in three dimensions. Why do we care about that? Uh, yes, we do know how to, to, to culture cells, to grow cells. We take uh, a Petri dish, we've known, we've known this for, for decades. Add the, the cells in your Petri dish, they go to the bottom, they attach to the bottom of the plastic, and, and they grow, and they grow on this flat surface. And since it's flat, it's two-dimensional, that's why we call two-dimensional cell culture, but today there's a paradigm shift in biology that we understand that tissue, the body, if you pinch yourself, you're not two-dimensional, you're not flat. Cells are interacting with, uh, with other cells of the same type or different types, and now we understand that this 3D environment really defines the biology, biology of tissue. So, and this is, you don't have to be a scientist. This is a 2D culture, flat, this is an in vivo, Lung tissue, there's much more architecture, is, is, is very different. And it's important um, for you to, to have this three dimensionality. If you're doing life science research, if you're doing regenerative medicine, if you're doing cancer research, uh, if you're working with stem cells, it, it's key. So, how do we provide the 3D environment? Uh, we have what we call the nano shuttle. 
The nanoshutter is a nanoparticle assembly of gold nanoparticles and iron oxide. Iron oxide is the magnetic part of this, this nanoparticle assembly. So if you close your eyes and envision a cell or a sphere, okay, and you decorate this cell with magnetic nanoparticles, just like you do with Christmas tree, okay? And then you put a magnetic field on top, just like a magnet, right on top. And the cells fill the field, and they come up. The nanoparticles carry the cells to the top, and you bring them together. And uh, what you see here, this little sphere here is a glioblastoma spheroid levitating for 48 hours. Your magnet's there, and as you can see, it's levitating. You take the magnet out, it goes back to the bottom, we put it back on, so it's a 3D structure. So uh, we say, right, a, a picture is worth a, a thousand words. So we have a movie here, the first 15 minutes for you to have an idea how the magnetic field bring the cells together. See, this is the first 15 minutes of culture. You bring the cells together. These are adenocarcinoma cells. You just bring them together and they start uh, the cell-cell interaction and they form these 3D structures. And this is a adenocarcinoma cell. Play a movie. There we go. This is a adenocarcinoma cell that generate these 3D structures overnight. And it's very important, when these cells come together, they, they excrete these proteins, the extracellular matrix, which is the cement, the glue, that keeps the tissue together. And that's very important. And it's not trivial to get that when you have two-dimensional cell growth. So these are really cool cells. These are endothelial cells. These are cells that make blood vessels. You, you know, look at your arm, right? Blood you see your blood vessels? They're elongated. And we levitate these cells. These are the only cells that make this type of structures. As soon as you bring them together, they start stretching and form these blood, uh, blood vessel type of structures. And this is, besides being, I think, a, a nice picture, this is a very, uh, one of our latest, latest results that we, we published last month in collaboration with a friend of mine, Dr. Misha Coloni, uh, where we took stem cells uh, and we told the stem cells to turn into fat tissue. And uh, then we mixed the, the stem cells with the endothelial cells, which are the green here. Endothelial cells, the ones that make blood vessels. And it generated this structure where the red here are the fat cells, the adipocytes, the green are the, 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 the endothelial cells starting to make a vasculature. And this is not trivial to do. In their lab, what they're trying to study is the relationship. And they just published a, a big paper trying to uh, understand the relationship between cancer and obesity. So, and if you want to study um, um, human biology in vitro, you, if you want to study human biology, you need an in vitro tool that can generate this type of, a, of, a, of a structure. So one question that I, I usually get uh-oh, we missed turning the gold here. So it turned, but we'll go back to that in a second. But uh, we just made alchemy here, but we'll go back to that. So uh, I always get this question. Did I plan to levitate cells? I went to my you know, notebook and uh, wrote down how, how it's supposed to work. Uh, we're going to add this many nanoparticles to these many cells and put this, this magnetic field on top, and they'll levitate. Uh, no, it didn't work that, like that. <laughs> That's how it started. Water polo. Seriously? Who hasn't had a water polo inspired idea? <laughs> All right. So yes, you know, you would think that I was watching the Olympics and I saw, you know, this, uh, Speedo wearing people swimming around on top of the water and coming together. And I'm like, that's what I want to do with my cells. I want to bring them together. So, no. Three of us play water polo. Four of us, three of us are, play water polo. Three of us are scientists. Four of us are friends. And four of us like beer. So a lot of our ideas did come by hanging out and uh, interacting and writing things on a, on a napkin. Actually, I have the napkins. Um, and, um, and this is where the life resonating aspect comes in. When you have multiple, and I'll use 
you know, scientific language, multivariables resonating in the same system, you have this magnified signal. And we're very different. We are a very different cultural background, uh, very different personalities, uh, very different scientific areas. Uh, I'm a physical chemist, Tom is a physicist, uh, Rob is a, is a biophysicist, Dave is a, is a business guy that actually we, we have a company which is N3D now. But uh, the key catalyzing factor was water polo. If it wasn't water polo, we wouldn't be here. And uh, because we're from, from such different scientific areas, because we're resonating on these different aspects, we were able to make this a very productive project. So, and that's where my life uh, definition goes in. And now we have to, to make the two resonate. So it's gonna get a little complicated, but just bear with me. And uh, so, if anything from this, this next few slides, this is true in physics and physical chemistry. When there, you have many resonating events, you have this enhanced signal. And this is what we show here. This is a surface enhanced Raman spectrum of a molecule imidazole. And we know peaks. You know when do you have a large peak, it's a large signal. So this signal here is a billion times larger than a, this little bump here that is all right on, the, on the bottom. And why? Because you have these nanoparticles that resonate with these molecules that resonate with light, and we get this huge signal amplification. So there are several events resonating. And uh, we'll break down quickly here. We have your light, you have your nanoparticle, and you have this snowman-like molecule there, right? It's a five-member lean molecule sitting, and you have a nanoparticle right there, a nanoparticle right there, and it's vibrating, right? And they can vibrate like this, they can vibrate like this, they vibrate like this, like that, they do, it's, it's true. So they're vibrating like this, and, um, and the light comes in, right, which is an electromagnetic wave, and hits the nanoparticle. And the nanoparticles, metal nanoparticles, gold nanoparticles, on their surface, they, they have what they call surface plasma. That's where the, the electrons live. And because the light's an electromagnetic wave, when it has the right frequency that resonates with the surface plasma, you get what is called the surface plasma resonance. So the light transfers the energy to the nanoparticles. And when you get this, this, this coupling, it transfers the energy to the molecule that vibrates and generates that huge signal. So, back. So it generates this huge signal, and, and that's why, because you have many resonating events, transfer of energy, working together, and you had this billion times larger signal. And if you don't have the reson this resonating effect, light comes in, bounces off, which is very similar to what you see here. Light bounces off the, the, the nanoparticles, and doesn't get channeled, and it just gets lost. We get no enhancement, no signal enhancement. So, so this is what I'm trying to, to, to tell here, that there is precedent in physics where you have a multi-resonating system where the energy is guided together. And in life, you also have the, those type of amplified events. Who hasn't worked on a team or seen a team that you look at the individuals, they all look great on paper, right? but they don't click, they don't resonate. And the outcome is usually poor, and a lot of times negative, but if you have a team that resonates, it's always an amplified result. And I guess TEDx is a, is a good example. You have so many people, so many different backgrounds. When they resonate together, you get these wonderful events. So this is, uh, is, is my message. And, uh, and that's the, the two definitions. But going back to, to alchemy now. So we have our gold here, and it, the, this is gold nanoparticles. And if you look at the, the light coming through, this is the light bouncing off the nanoparticles. Remember, 
when you don't have the nanoparticles, the light interacting, there's no line. The laser doesn't bounce off. Do you see that? It, there's nothing. You have your nanoparticles. And, and I, I want to draw the, the, the parallel of resonating between, because I started talking about we're going to do alchemy, right? Making gold. And alchemy, uh, it's, it's much more than just turning lead into gold. I think alchemy, if you, if you read a little bit, it's more about really resonating, and it's true, resonating to cues from nature, from life, from the people around you. Uh, and I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing Paulo Coelho. It's really taking these cues from the, the nature, from people around you, to really channel this energy into turning lead into gold. And uh, in a metaphorical way, it's uh, how we, we, we can make our, our life better. So that's my resonating message, I hope. Thank you.